So, last year, I did make this thread right here. Uh, for every 10 likes this sweep gets, I will post one Dokkan take. Uh, it got pretty, <laughs> it got a lot of likes actually, much more than I anticipated. Um, people at the time were doing, well, I actually, I, I saw one other person do this and then I did it and then everyone else jumped on it uh, and then it's like, okay, 10 likes. I thought 10 likes was going to be a pretty solid amount, right? It's like, okay, maybe I'll do like, you know, 50 likes or something, maybe like 500 at most, right? You know, 300 at most, do 30 takes. No, I got 3,684. Now, I didn't do every single um, take right there. I went up to 200. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at these takes I did. And I'm going to take a look at how well they aged. So this is back in 2022. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I feel like a lot has changed since May 31st, 2022. This was... Who released May 31st, 2022? Actually, let me um try and find that there's the timeline of events here that i should probably um find oh my goodness okay this is really annoying <laughs> i should have probably brought this up before uh but who came out 2022 of may at the end it was the resurrection at Belus. yeah they just came out and i was like they suck but let, uh, let's hop right in let's let's take a look at some of these takes here um Okay, Ajo Kid Gohan was always better than most when it was 2-1 Dokkan Fest. We were just blind to the fact that it was Kid Gohan. And I do agree, Ajo Kid Gohan is probably, like in terms of 2021 Dokkan Fest, like, you know, there's Imbroli, Takao and Khalifla just got KL. So, like, they're okay, I guess, because of the condition, but you're not really going to use them. You have the LR EZA now. Um, I'm trying to think of who else from 2021 tech androids is up there right but yeah i mean ajo kid gohan has a out age i'd say most of those 2021 dokkan fests and a lot of people did underrate him i think because he was kid gohan he was very very good uh so uh, i think that is right okay <laughs> um <laughs> this one is completely wrong you know it's funny LR Vegeta and Trunks came out like less than a month after this tweet was made. So I say, imagine Vegeta will age worse than people may think. You are not going to lie, Sam Pass to dislike the Trunks restriction more and more. Because at this time, there's no good Trunks at all. We had no idea when we we're going to get another good Trunks. Majin Vegeta without a Trunks, he was not underrated. A lot of people thought this man was underrated. No, he just was not like... You, like, he was fine, but he was not as good as he should have been. He felt weaker than even some 2021 TURs, right? So, um, that was an issue. But once he got LR, Vegeta, and Trunks, who were the best unit in the game, this guy shut up. But if we didn't get that, this guy would be dead in the mud right now. Because, like, we don't even have another good Trunks unit. So, uh, <laughs> that was an issue there. You could argue easy as Terra Broly is the best shell coin easy A. You're not gonna like even have a physical cell. Um honestly at this point I'm like this kinda hazy because I don't remember what yellow corn LR EZAs were out. But this is before Tycho Block and Smiles came out. Physical cell was good, but he just wasn't what um you know the in uh not in cell. Well yeah, he's just kinda by himself. He wasn't what AGL cell needed. I I don't know. Maybe this one's kinda cap, but I SJR Broly had a use at the very least, right? <laughs> yes, AGL first and second form cell forms are slightly overrated. They people don't use cell anymore, and people do agree that you know his first and second forms in the red zone content were just very very weak. Always overrated, dude. This tech when this tech Vegeta oh, I forgot about this when this tech Vegito came out, people like sucked him off so hard, like people super overrated this guy right uh, and he it's because he had the 30 percent buff and then you put him in slot one and then you had esther vegeta in slot two and you're like oh my god this is so great and it was like no actually not really and lorenzo came out and just completely killed this guy <laughs> but um dude this guy was so overrated because even like the god even or something like this guy could get creamed in slot one and like i don't know the end boo saga vegeta was actually quite good but again red zone is another thing that ended up killing him right 
the age of resurrection at blue easy goku he was fine right uh i think he was very underrated with you know the 200 percent leader skill and we got the blue vegeta slash goku which you know at the time they were like still runnable they were definitely i feel like uh, i'd say they were the second worst uh release at that time because mod vegeta i think was i didn't think watch vegeta was as good as them without trunks but they're definitely this uh, actually no raditz came out right yeah actually did i have vegeta above them maybe um but this unit was the second worst release of 2022 in terms of dokkan festival t wars he just um the the in resurrection blue goku and vegeta just very unfortunate at the time he, you know in the middle of the year it's quite good though um compared to other units in the game better than a lot of other units in the game that's 200 percent lead uh yep i was correct about this right it, this they aged out super quick like vegeta trunks came out then we got worldwide and then after that it's like you don't use these guys ever then we, then we got kid goku and the gammas and it's like yeah <laughs> come on this unit was the last tr that released um no no he wasn't we got pan right but it's like we got this unit then pan then we got kid goku and then the gammas and it's like oh that's a pretty big jump in power right uh yes I feel like, okay, 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 hear me out, hear me out. May 31st, 2022, I mean, I feel like Good probably was pushing it, but he still had uses. You still could run this guy in Super Battle Road. He's aged better than some of these 2021 Dokkan Fest, because uh, we, we, we were getting Super Battle Road stages that this guy actually does fit on, and he, um, with his guaranteed sun and guaranteed crit, is super still useful for Super Battle Road stages. I think that he has... Uh, like people don't really think about him as much anymore obviously we're in a red zone meta but this unit was still kind of cook uh for you in red no i almost said red zone but in uh, extreme super battle this unit can still cook for you i think for sure and he had a good leader skill uh pure saiyan's lead right uh <clears throat> are there any quotes on this Woo! okay well this year maybe this year let's hope <laughs> I mean, this, um, yeah, getting at 55%, it's like the tech androids had like, you know, the usher and stuff like this, but I kind of like, this is, I don't even really care about this anymore. I feel like many people don't anymore because these units have been on so many banners. I feel like now, I mean, Gideon is literally on Kale's banner right now, right? Um, that like a lot of people don't really think about this, but I would probably still agree for right, this because the tech androids, even at free dupe. They have the Ghost Usher, the Soul Orb Change, they have the Notification. Ginyu stacks up a lot slower. He does more damage, but um, yeah. This is true. Uh, again, because these are the units that are out right now. It was Turles, Gohan, Blue Evolution, Vegeta, and then Physical Ultimate Go uh, No, Physical Future Gohan came out. And then who came out after? uh and like in the next few months uh vegeta and trunks who do we do we get anyone with vegeta and trunks uh we got tech bb and esther rose they weren't as good i feel so it was really until like i don't know it was, it was a long time before nami goku was like uh or i think it was like nami goku then metal cooler they pretty much were the units that dethroned this guy i feel this guy was really, really strong. I, I'm probably missing a unit that definitely did, but you know, like, especially STR Cooler came out that month as well. Ejo Meta Cooler, I feel like they're all better units than this guy. Uh, and then he got even, like, this is May 31st. He got even better with Vegeta and Trunks. So <laughs> that's another thing. Honestly, at this point, yeah, probably. Uh, will he? I don't know. Well, well Kid Boo. Does, he doesn't even have a 200% leader skill, does he? Uh, let me let me fact check that real quick. Okay, no, Kid Buu does have a 200% leader skill, but it's not a boot unit. Again, uh, uh, this doesn't even matter. These units have aged out. Uh, Kid Kid Buu, even if he gets a leader skill, he won't even. I don't know. I don't think he'll be like in the top 10 TWRs even. Uh, Dokkan Fest, right? And that's how, what usually a lot of people care about. I agree with this. He was never the best TUR. Tech Gohan was better, in my opinion, at the time of his release in Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, right? At the time, this was true, actually. AGL Super Vegeta was a very underrated option against that Omega Shenron because he could do fine against the normals even at the end. 
And, and you know, in the middle phase, he had tap advantage. So in case he get hit by a super attack, he could, you know, he'll take a lot of damage, but he'll still be okay. And you know where the super was at the end, so you could always protect him and have a unit basically guaranteed to be fine against normals. Uh, at the time, this Omega Shenron's normals, like 450k extreme class against many of your super class units, right? You you would be hit pretty hard by this Omega Shenron at the end. Uh, he was, uh, at this time, the second hardest fight in the game, uh, compared to Broly being the hardest fight, right? And there was nothing else to compare it to. There was no Cell Max boss events. There was no you look at bloodline red zone or anything like that um the shadow targets event came out like a few months after the anniversary right so they were underrated but they kind of were aged out a little like when worldwide hits right i think at this time this is correct this is true defense is always more important than attack and dokkan i do agree slightly better because uh, raditz like defensively he can take some normals okay he can get to like he was able to get like 400 500k defense no 500k is a lot like 400 450k defense like if maybe sometimes he gets additionals or just in general depending on your setups but he's still pretty bad right and yeah <laughs> yes i'm correct i'm always correct yep yep lr gotta go cream vegeta over the super saiyan fours i've been saying this since day one man Day one, for real, for real. I mean, I don't even care about this take end. It's kind of, uh, low key, like getting into this part of the thread, I, this is where I kind of start talking just about random stuff because it's like, what are you talk about? I'm already like a, I don't know. <laughs> it's like when you're getting so many likes, you got to come up with things. 90% of the units in Universe Survival so I need units or easy A's because the team sucks. Yes, I talked about this uh at that time and so right now universe survival saga is finally getting buffs and easy a's and stuff so we'll see how this team is gonna be in like you know let's say three months this team could be potentially really really good tech god goku is better than ever 21 21 dokkan fest and Monte vegeta yeah um and then also the, re the resurrection at blues and then raditz and then uh, again yeah that's pretty much it but once this guy got trunks and vegeta is Tech God Goku still better, like in terms of that time? Probably not, because we had Omega Shenron. We only had Omega and Broly. Like when we got Cell Max and then the Wicked Bloodline Red Zone, this God Goku was, you know, effective in three of the most hardest events in the game out of four. So it's like, okay, but yeah. And Broly's very unrated. I think very. I don't know, maybe at this time very made sense i think uh, a lot of people get ended up liking this yeah <laughs> this is funny because this was before cell max came out and then we knew about the bug uh the, if you guys weren't aware when the cell max event came out this guy um what happened is there was a bug that i kind of double activated his passive somehow so because of that he essentially got to like nearly like a hundred percent above a hundred percent damage reduction and it's like oh well this guy is actually pretty big gaming moment at that right oh uh, then he had the dodge he's actually still pretty solid for the cell max event right if you're struggling with that this in hercule uh you, you didn't think about using them he could still be ran but before he could be used without a leader skill and take double digits of the super right i do think okay this is kind of true because being a slot one unit is definitely important and i'd say it's the most important slot you know to be in right um <clears throat> i should have expanded upon this more and making this originally but you only need two slot units and two slot one units on a team obviously a very important role and so many of these teams do need this but i at this time people were seeing a lot of these units release and they weren't slot one and they're extremely disappointed which it kind of makes sense because these teams uh, were just fresh 200% leader skill teams. And it's like, okay, sometimes we can't really find a unit that's relevant in red zone to be run a slot one like that. At this point, it's much less of an issue. But <clears throat> I do think that when it comes to this, it, it comes to a fact where once you get two slot one units, like the team doesn't really need any more. And... Uh, it's the fact that you have to fill out the other teams. Like, I feel like for a very long time, even right now, 
support units in the game, we need much stronger support units. Like, think of the strong support units in the game. We have Yajirobe, we got Piccolo, we got Chilai. Uh, those three are very, very good support units I'm thinking of. Like, Tech Super Saiyan Vegeta that just came out with the God Goku banner, he can give you support uh, for a certain amount of turns, right? It's like these very strong support units started coming out around worldwide. But before then, we didn't have anyone right um like that was a more important situation to kind of think about than slot one i even would argue but um yeah at this time this is true the ginyu global banner is pretty cracked honestly um yep this is true it takes uh age of super 17 is better than super Saiyan for rigida yeah dokkan pity please i need dokkan pity battlefield yeah Honestly, it's like Battlefield is actually kind of annoying, low key, and people don't talk about it. But it's like you kind of just like run through it brainlessly with your teams. Like if you have a set of box, and then it's like okay, I do it, and then I have to wait months to actually like ring build this unit. And it's like by the time I rainbow them, they're not really that great. Um, they're nice, right? And then again, they're actually another useful unit for the Cell Maxi Man. I think they're pretty cool. Dynamo's art was cool. Unique equipments like Legends. Yes, uh, this I still think they could do because they could actually do this with how the game is right now. So I actually made a concept about that. Maybe I'll make a video on that concept to talk about. The next few days, there's not really much to do. So <laughs> um, this was wrong, probably. I'm just, I was capping right here. I, I feel like for sure. STR Weesia. Yeah, honestly. Even the Resurrection at Blue's team were very easily able to clear red zone, right? So, I would say, though, obviously, maybe I should have put Anniversary Recommended, right? <laughs> um, um, I don't know. I don't remember much. <clears throat> yeah, but it's, like, been a whole year at this point, so, no. I forgot, like, a topo, like, in October this guy may be like he could probably still be okay because he's guarding but like he has like 300 400k defense that range that defense level with guarding is not enough like if we're considering like the sin shine run event right you know um yeah this time this is true yeah it's like you could uh, easily tell a difference but, like every unit like nowadays comes out has to do additional supers right we got kale god goku the super saiyan 3 goku and Vegeta, uh super saiyan 2 vegeta the gt duo and your 17s do additionals we have who was in december and amateur does additionals november tech bardic didn't do additionals you could tell his damage definitely isn't as great as these other units you know uh gamma 2 damage dealer does additionals kid goku could do some damage gamma 1 could do like you know like a 10 11 mil attack slap but he's a, like a defensive unit so that's kind of different right um, but it's like, you could easily tell, like, you know, Gamma 1 doesn't do nearly as much damage as Gamma 2. So, yeah. I agree. Best era in Dokkan was the physical Vegito Blue and AJ Rose area. Very, very sick. <laughs> this is funny. I want tickets, actually. I low-key would love tickets. Um, more missions or titles make the game more replayable. I agree. Friend points to replicate our leader. Yes, please. Uh, actually, you know, <laughs> This is funny. <laughs> um, I actually would not like to be verified. <laughs> voices to... Oh my god. Please. Please. Voices to support memories. That'd be so good. Oh yeah. I'll talk about... Oh, you know. I'll talk about these last three right here. Um, they actually added this. Which is cool. Right? We could play the OST. I can't, it's not necessarily what everyone want. But like you could put an OST to a certain team. And then you can have the OST playing during the entire time of the fight, which is really sick. Um, this should ha hopefully happen. 3,000 days is upcoming soon. So it'd be cool if these units were like added to the general pool, got EZAs, and became really, really good. Maybe the support categories, right? Um, instead of just... I don't really care if they extend it to like 60%. They could. But like add categories and then things would get really good from there. And on with here, Demon King Piccolo needs a Dokkan Fest. Please give Demon King Piccolo a Dokkan Fest. Him, the 22nd Budokai TN, and then Goku and Piccolo from the World Tournament. That Those would all be pretty good choices for a Dokkan Fest. Like, especially TN. TN has not gotten a Dokkan Fest. I mean, the, the only thing is that if we're going to get a Dokkan Fest TN, 
since they really despise Dragon Ball Saga, it will definitely be from the moment when he, um, because we already got the LR Tien, uh, the in LR Prime Battle Tien. If we're going to get an LR Tien, uh, not an LR, well, I guess we can get another summon of one, right? But if we're going to get a new Tien that's summonable, it would be from when he, uh, did the Kikoho against second form cell. That's the exact moment he would do it against. Maybe it'd be like some nullification. Um, yeah, but that'd be it. I mean, it'd be cool if it was like, I don't know, a Piccolo and, and then exchange to Tien or something. S sub something weird like that, right? Where Piccolo gets knocked out and then Tien comes in. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah, Piccolo uh, gets knocked out, Tien comes in, and then you're like, ooh. Loki, I was yawning. It was like 2 a.m., but um, <laughs> I'm going to just get this done. I'll, I'll probably have this uploaded in the morning. Um, Yeah, those are some of my takes here. There's probably some very bad ones down there that I just aged wrong with the Monte Vegeta one, but um, let me know what you think, I guess. Uh, if you have any other video ideas I could do in the past next days, let me know, and I'll catch you next time.